welcome back to Canada Digest. Today we are going to solve some numericals from the chapter Work Energy and Power. So let us see the first question. The system is released from rest. Find the work done by string on both blocks in one second. So here we are given with a pulley block system. This is 2 kilogram and we have 1 kilogram. So to solve this question we should be knowing the concepts from the chapters loss of motion and work energy and power. We should be knowing the pulley block system from the chapter loss of motion. So let us just sum up what we learned there. So let me assume this is M1. M1 is equal to 2 kilogram and M2 is equal to 1 kilogram. So here M1 is greater than M2. So what happens? M1 will be going down and M2 will be going up. Let me assume M1 went down through a distance S. Then M2 will go up through a distance S. And let me assume M1 is going down with an acceleration A. So M2 will be going up with acceleration A. And due to these masses M1 and M2, there will be a tension in the string which will be acting vertically upwards. As it is the same string, the tension will be the same throughout. Right. Now in the question, we are asked to find the work done by string. Work done by string. If it is work done by string, we have to see the force acting on the string. And the force on the string is tension. And the expression for tension and acceleration. In a pulley block system, like we learned in the chapter, loss of motion, we have tension T is equal to 2 M1 M2 G divided by M1 plus M2. And acceleration A is equal to M1 minus M2 into G divided by M1 plus M2. So we got the expression for tension and acceleration. Right. So let us calculate tension. Tension T is equal to 2 into M1 means that is 2 kilogram. So 2 into 1. Into G let me take approximately 10. So we will be getting divided by M1 plus M2. So that is 2 plus 1. So we will be getting 40 by 3 Newtons. So we got tension. So now we have to calculate work done. Work done, it is the product of force and corresponding displacement. So we should, so we got force, that is tension. So now we have to calculate displacement. So let us use the equation S is equal to ut plus half a t square. It is given in the question, the system is released from rest. So its initial velocity is equal to 0. So we can take u is equal to 0. So we'll be getting the expression as s is equal to half a t square. So now we, here we require acceleration. So we have the expression for acceleration that is m1 minus m2 g by m1 plus m2. So on substituting what happens acceleration a m1 minus m2 that is 2 minus 1 into g divided by m1 plus m2 that is 2 plus 1. So we have acceleration a is equal to 10 by 3 meters per second square. So we got the expression for acceleration as well. Right. So if we just substitute what happens half into acceleration is 10 by 3 into time it is given one second. Right. So it will be one square which is one. So now he, we can cancel out two. So we'll be getting five. So this will turn out to be five by three meters. So we got displacement as well. Now we can find work done. What was the definition of work done? Work done W is equal to F dot S which is equal to Fs cos theta. Here force is tension so we can write it as Ts cos theta and we have to find the work done by string on both blocks. So we have to calculate let me work done on block M1 is W1 and here it is W2. Right, so W1 let us write, W1 is equal to tension, it is the same, so we can write 40 by 3, displacement also same for both the blocks, so we can write that is 5 by 3 into theta, 
So this is something you have to understand here. See, the mass M1 is going down. So displacement is downwards, right? What about tension? Tension is acting vertically upwards. Tension is acting vertically upwards. So we can say what will be the angle between them? Theta will be equal to 180 degrees. So we can write into cos 180. What is cos 180? Minus 1. So this will turn out to be equal to 40 by 3 into 50 by 3. That will be 200 by 9 into minus 1. So we will be getting minus 200 by 9 joules. Now we have to calculate W2. W2 will be equal to tension is the same. So we can write 40 by 3 into displacement also the same. So we can write 5 by 3 into cos. What is the angle? See here the block is moving upwards. So displacement is upwards. The tension also acting vertically upwards. So theta is equal to 0 degrees. So we can write here cos 0. How much is cos 0? cos 0 is equal to 1. So what will happen? We will be getting 200 by 9 joules. So work done on mass M1 is minus 200 by 9 joules and on mass M2 is 200 by 9 joules. Why we got negative sign here? Because tension and displacement are in opposite direction. So theta is equal to 180. Cos 180 is equal to minus 1. So this is negative work. When we were discussing the types of work, in negative work, we were we discussed the theory related to this as well. I hope the problem is clear. If you have any doubts, please let us know in the comments below. Next question. A constant force F is equal to I plus 3J plus 4K Newton acts on a particle and displace it from minus 1 to 1 to 2 minus 3 1 find the work done by force so we are given with force f is equal to i plus 3j plus 4k newtons then the initial position is given that is s1 equal to or we can write it write it in its vector form so we will be getting minus i cap plus 2j cap plus k cap right so the final position we can write it in the vector form s2 is equal to 2i cap minus 3j cap plus k cap right so you're given with initial and final position then you can find the displacement so we can write s is equal to s2 minus s1 so you can find the displacement so s2 minus s1 that is 2i cap minus 3j cap plus k cap minus minus i cap plus 2j cap plus k cap right so what happens to i cap minus minus i cap so what happens that will turn out to be 3i cap minus minus so that will turn out to be minus 5j cap k minus k cap so that will turn out to be plus 0 k cap right so this is displacement we are asked to find the work done by force so we can write work done w is equal to f dot s right we are given with force that is i plus 3j plus 4k dot displacement we found out that is 3i cap minus 5j cap plus 0k cap so what will we do here we'll be multiplying the corresponding i components j components and k components right so what we'll get 3 3 into minus 5 that is minus 15 4 into 0 0 so the answer is minus 12 joules. Next we have the calculation of work done by force displacement graph. So here I have considered a force displacement graph. I have taken force along y axis and displacement along x axis. Right. This can be this can be assumed as a rectangle. Right. Let me take the length of this section is x and that of this section is y right what is the area of rectangle we can take it area is equal to y x 
right what is actually we have taken along y axis that is force along x axis we have displacement so instead of this y we should be writing force right instead of x we can write displacement that is fs what is meant by fs force multiplied by displacement that is work work done is the product of force and displacement so we can write which is equal to work so what can we under understand from this what can we understand from this area is equal to work done which means we can say the area under the force displacement curve gives work done we can write it area under force displacement curve gives work done so this is a very important section let us see one of the problem it is easy so here i have taken a force displacement graph right so how can we solve this question i told area under the force displacement graph gives work done so this whole area we can split it into two this is a triangle and this is a rectangle so we can find the area of this section separately and add them up so the area of first section that is it is a triangle so area is half into base into height so what we will get half into base is 4 4 into height that is 10 so we will be getting 20 then what about the second section it is a rectangle right so length into breadth so what we will get here it is 4 into 10 so we will be getting 40 so the area under the force displacement curve is equal to work done so we can add both of them so we'll be getting work done w is equal to work done w is equal to 20 plus 40 which is equal to 60 joules so the second question is also similar to the to this only you have to find the area then you'll be getting the work done so this problem you can try it out and the answer let me know in the comments below next problem a position dependent force f is equal to 7 minus 2x plus 3x square acts on a small body of mass 2 kilogram and displays it from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 5 meters calculate work done so in the previous problem we were finding area under the force displacement curve right what are we actually doing there you might have studied in integration in math when we are finding the area under the curve we are actually integrating we are doing integration right so we have to apply integration here so let us solve we can write work done w is equal to the force is displacing it from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 5 meters so we should be integrating it from 0 to 5 f dx which is equal to integrate from 0 to 5 how much is force 7 minus 2x plus 3x square dx now applying integration we will be getting 7x minus 2x square by 2 plus 3x square by 3 limit 0 to 5 so we can cancel out 2 and 3 so now we have to apply upper limit minus lower limit so we'll be getting 7 into 5 minus x square that is 5 square plus x cube that is 5 cube right so we will be getting 7 3 7 into 5 that is 35 minus 25 plus 125 
right so we'll be getting 35 minus 25 that is 10 plus 125 so we'll be getting 135 joules so we have discussed some questions today so if you have any doubts regarding the questions or numericals discussed please let us know in the comments below you can also contact us on instagram or facebook or whatsapp Okay, the link is given in the description below. Thank you.